Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today's bootleg tip is how to make kimchi. What is kimchi? It's a fermented cabbage, specifically Napa cabbage, but you can ferment any type of vegetable for kimchi. Super delicious, a little smelly, but easy to make. Napa cabbage, first thing that you have to do to make kimchi is you wanna get this in salt. Why salt? Because salt does a couple of things. It actually dehydrates it, removes the water from it, and makes a stabilized environment so that the right bacteria can grow in it. So first thing, just cut it. And you don't have to be particularly fancy in how you cut it. It's all gonna end up kind of smashed in a jar anyways. And then what we wanna do is get it into a bowl. I use any type of salt. There's a lot of rumors about what salt not to use or what salt to use. I'm Korean. I grew up in a household. My mother really didn't give a damn what kind of salt we use as long as there was salt on it. This takes about an hour for the water to be removed from the cabbage and once that happens we're going to drain it, squeeze it, and add all the other essential ingredients to the kimchi. It looks like I'm putting a lot of cabbage in here and I really am, but once all the salt removes the water, it's gonna go down by at least a half, if not a quarter of the cabbage that's in here. So let's set this aside and give it an hour. It's been about an hour and my cabbage, as I said, has shrunk by half the volume. We just have to rinse it, squeeze out the water, and add the other ingredients. What are the other ingredients? We have garlic, lots of garlic. We love garlic, and garlic and kimchi, there's no other way to do it. Ginger, ginger goes in here as well. I use lots of ginger, and the essential key ingredient is Korean pepper flakes, coarse or fine. You can buy it in most Korean stores. They have two different types, different sizes. You need this to make kimchi, and I do mine vegetarian style or vegan style where I don't add any type of baby shrimp or fish sauce to it, but you can add whatever you want to give it that extra kick. So let's get over to the sink, wash it out, then add the other ingredients. Cabbage is rinsed, squeezed out, we're gonna add everything else. I like my kimchi spicy, so I'm gonna add a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of red pepper. Ginger. You can actually put, ow, you can put all of your ginger and garlic into a food processor so it comes out nicely minced. If you don't do that, you can easily chop it up, it doesn't matter. I don't suggest that you buy garlic that's already pre-cut because it always has such a nasty flavor and that's just something that you don't want. Remember, lots of garlic, lots of ginger. Once all of this is in, I'm gonna mix it. Kimchi takes about 24 hours, if not longer, to ripen and generally it takes the temperature of about 72 degrees in sunlight or a light environment in order for the good bacteria to foster. If you don't want it to ripen right away, then you want to keep it in your refrigerator or in a dark place. In Korea, we used to take big vats, kind of like ceramic, big bowls, put kimchi in it, seal it really well, and dig a hole in the ground and bury it. And it would be fresh for months until you dug it up. And that's how we used to do it in Korea. All right, got all my garlic in. Mix it up. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, and as you see, nice collar. This will ferment and be super tasty, fabulous. You can put this in a jar, but before you seal it, make sure that there's a piece of saran wrap over it and put a rubber band on it because it keeps all the oxygen out. And what that does is make sure that the bacteria that grows to ferment it is actually good bacteria that's like, it's, it's good for your intestinal tract. It doesn't create bad, um, anaerobic bacteria for you. Airtight, this stuff will explode on you once it starts to ferment. It will leak all over the place, so make sure there is a bowl underneath you and you're ready to go. This has been a bootleg tip on how to make kimchi, so tune in next week and you'll get another amazing bootleg tip without the red hands. See you soon. Hello, I'm Chef Diane DeMeo and welcome to my kitchen. Today we are making something super tasty. We are making Korean style beef tacos.